Welcome back to Due to Bides. Sorry for the noise, folks, but uh, it's cold in here. And, uh, yeah, that's the source of the noise. Let me show you what we got going on today. It's been a minute, but today we're going to put in a couple hours on this bad boy, and uh, we are going to make an attempt to put our matching uh, quad front suspension in this tractor and as you can imagine it's going to take some modification i'm not quite sure how the steering is going to work out yet but we're going to get rid of all this gobbledygook and uh yeah do something better and uh also we've got the engine over here we started trying to fix this engine there's actually nothing wrong with the engine, but there's some springs inside this clutch bell here on the back side. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't get to them. I tried with the puller to get this clutch bell off, and no matter how hard I tried, it would not come off. And so I can't fix those springs. It's basically the starter won't engage the actual, uh, motor to turn over the starter turns over just fine it turns and turns and turns but it doesn't engage the clutch to actually kick the motor over so luckily for old uncle Nate I've got another motor that he actually gave me I'm just gonna give it back to him and we're gonna put that motor but it started just fine in his tractor so but today is suspension dead. We're at least going to get this chopped off and then figure out how to mod the new uh, half of a quad frame on this bad boy. It's going to be crude, it's going to be lewd, and it probably won't be safe. So I don't recommend to anybody do this unless you know, the risks, and you're willing to uh, get hurt or butt hurt, whichever one comes first. So stick around, and uh, I'll try to give you a little step-by-stepper. We're going to start by undoing some bolts. So watch this boring clip of me undoing some bolts. There you have it, folks. We gutted the old front end this morning, and uh, here it is on the ground. Gutted that out. 
There wasn't a lot to film in the process of getting this on here, believe it or not. I already had this chopped off of a parts four-wheeler, and we just figured out well, we're going to try to mod this in here as crude as possible. And so we got two pieces of flat strap. This used to be the axle guide. We just flipped that up and welded that on there nice and solid. And then we got these two pieces of flat strap welded to our orange tubes here. And then they're bolted into the top of the frame there. That way it kind of hangs and this is almost kind of like cantilever cantilevered on there so when you hit a jump it's going to want to force the back to go up so all we got to do is figure out some supports for our back of the frame we obviously got to figure out steering still but you can see it's the beginnings of a mower or what used to be a mower now it's going to have some suspension and uh, we don't have the original shocks anymore for this long since stole them and put them on something else so we're going to be trying something new we've got a like a 15 inch uh tailgate shock or hood hood shock i'm not sure the poundage i think these are 75 pound rated but they're pretty stiff and I think they'll work on here and pretty much done with day one. Next time we work on it, hopefully we'll get the spindles on there and see where our tire alignment's at and figure out our shock geometry and go from there.